Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum! Last time, we had a hard-fought battle against Crasher Wake and won ourselves the Fen Badge! After doing so, we learned that Team Galactic was going to... do something with a bomb around Pastoria City. Rather than rush off to stop them, we instead went to Jubilife City to go have some fun with Shady Penguin! This time, we can see that we made the right decision. After all, the city is still standing. It's all good. What are you talking to me from there? Oh, oh sorry, Barry. I, I will speak to you from over here. Does my now new outfit look good or what? Krogunk is where it's at. Krogunk is the uh, new galactic uniform. The fashion sense is always evolving. What am I, chopped liver? No, what do you mean? I was just talking about you while you ran over. So where's this galac? Well, uh, at least I wasn't late to the explosion. Fwe, that was rough. You! What have you done? What have I done, you're asking? Well, technically speaking, it wasn't me. The package arrived, see? That was a bomb, named the Galactic Bomb. Me? I was told to push the button, so I did. Like, poink. Oh, that's right, mustn't forget, the test results need reporting. Cheerio, then. You daft codger, your mask is absurd. Suddenly British. The Great Marsh is invaluable. You two, do not follow me. Don't let anyone else in, either. There'll be big trouble if there's any of that bomb left. He's gone up to stop it with his, uh, shock absorbent belly. We're ordered to go up to the Galactic Goon. Uh, you know, I find this a little bit confusing. I would expect Barry to be the one to be like, I'm gonna go stop the Galactic Goon. You stand here. I can't stand standing still, so you should go do that, because you're better at standing than me. What's with you? Stop chasing me, you. I've had ha I've half a mind to pulverize you with my Pokemon, but I have to be on my way to the lake ASAP, so you're lucky. I'm out. All right. Do I make myself clear? Don't you dare follow me. I'm just getting conflicting orders from everyone. Wake is like, stay here. Barry's like, go. And this guy's like, don't go and all this. Uh, I can only get pushed around so many times in one day, and I'm gonna let Barry be the one to do it. Why? I'm a Barry maniac, and not just in the way of gardening. This bomb was made from the energy from Valley Windworks. Guys, I've heard of nuclear bombs, but hooking a bomb up to a windmill for energy and expecting it to like do any damage, no wonder the building looks still completely intact after that explosion. I don't really think that that works all that well. Boy, boy, th but boy, this galactic bomb has a pretty big wallop. With this baby, there's not much we can't blow up. Wonder what they have planned for this. Grah, you were eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. You're a persistent pest. I'm tired of running away. But I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. I like to think that this guy is just really bad at running and... Oh! Uh, has to stop and catch his breath. Hello, my friend. The cargo that Team Galactic brought is worrisome. So I have come. At least I wasn't as late as this guy to the explosion. You say the cargo. It was a bomb. And there was an explosion. The explosion was at the Great Marsh. Furthermore, you are pursuing a man. A man with a funny, bowl-cut hair! In an outfit that is very strange! In other words, that is the Team Galactic. Oh, no, 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 no! How did I miss it? Ah, looker, you have made a mistake of the ages! The man who I've seen running away, he was the bearer of the bomb! This will not do! Wait! Wait, I say! <laughs> so much fun speaking patterns from just everyone involved in this segment of the game. It's really charming, like... That's another thing about fourth generation that I didn't quite realize is just how charming the text is, especially in Platinum. It's wonderful. Ah, my friend, it is you. Yes, I am at this hotel now. <laughs> I am interviewing people. I can't keep my cool. This is so good. Yes, I am at this hotel now. <laughs> um, so he wants us to go find the suspect. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, it would be a crime to not talk all suave when talking about Looker or just talking as Looker. Why am I running like this anyway? The new world! The universe that our boss was talking about! It make, it's making me giddy thinking about it when we were using the, when we used this thing. Gwe, you were eavesdropping! I was only talking to myself! You're persistent too! I'm pooped from all the running! But I'm not going to battle you! This guy must have really crappy Pokemon if he is just that opposed. He ran like five feet! Yeah, I'm still on your- I'm on a bicycle, buddy. You might want to get one if you want to get away from me. Just saying, it's like trying to run from the police on foot. <laughs> Besides, you've already blown up a nature preserve. Might as well steal a bike too while you're at it. <laughs> you have a Krogunk as your only Pokemon. Well, I, I like Krogunk personally. I think it's a fun Pokemon to use. I've already said this, but 
Anticipation Crow Gun. Just telling you, oh crap, in a second, he's going to dominate me with Earthquake. I wish I had something to switch to. Too bad I don't. Goodbye. Anticipation is such a terrible ability. Ugh, it's so dumb. I don't get why Krogan doesn't just have dry skin as its only ability. Get to level 33 out of that. Uh, get Leech Seed again. I tried learning this as a Grottle. I'm not really all for that. If I didn't run, I could have battled better. Even though your ability to run doesn't affect your Krogunk's health at all. I can't battle anymore. I'm running on fumes. I'll have to give this to the commander. I wish. I got to use it at the lake. Man, this guy is really dramatic. He's like limping away. I still can't. Oh, uh, sorry, um, my lady. Don't let me um, interrupt you, your entrance. Our Pokedex is filling up pretty good. I came to research the folklore about the lake, but well, it doesn't matter as if the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard the folklore about it? They say there is an island inside the lake. Gee, it's too bad that everything is at a bird's eye view in this world, otherwise we could just use our eyes to look right over there and see if the legend is true. <laughs> and that inside that island is a mirage of a Pokemon. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Oh, that's right, I had to talk to you about something else. Hey Emil, where'd that Galacticoon run off to? Huh? Is this your older sister? I wish. <laughs> no, oh, no <laughs> she isn't, oh okay. That explosion in the Great Marsh wasn't anything serious. Mr. Wake told me I had to tell you that. But that Team Galactic, wow, are they out of control or what? Next time I see them, I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. See you around. He's your friend? He's more impatient than he is energetic, isn't he? So getting back to what I was started saying earlier, have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Indeed we have. I bought a lot of milk right beside them and I never forget an instance of buying milk. That's right, by the cafe, yeah, you know exactly what I was saying. So uh, huddled with their heads in their uh, hands. Um, so she's gonna give us some medicine to use on the Psyduck. It'll be worthwhile for us obtaining a Pokedex. We get the secret potion! Johto confirmed, guys! It really was! So, reference to CN Wood Pharmacy. Went on a big adventure with a Pokemon Pokedex when I was younger. I hope you'll get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. It may help you with the secret of the Mirage Pokemon. See you later. Some people might be wondering why I want Cynthia as my older sister and not as, say, my girlfriend, but... I think that sharing genes with the awesomeness that is Cynthia would have far more bragging rights than just being some guy who got really lucky. Uh, these reporters are still blocking Lake Valor, and we can't go in at all. Even though that Galactic Goon ran over here, I guess they'll let him through, but not us. Maybe they, he agreed to an interview, so that's why they did it. It's just, these freaking... That moment when it hits you that the reason why they haven't been reported is because they are the reporters. They don't report this stuff on the news because they own the news. It's all a conspiracy. After doing all that, we could go back to Salacion Town and go through Route 210, advancing to the north to explore some new areas. Definitely could. We have Fly. We could go there right here, right now, and progress with our adventure. However, out of Pastoria City is Route 212. This incredibly long route has so much to offer you, and it's never required for anything. I wouldn't dare skip it, so that's where we're gonna be going next. Well, maybe not quite next next, but pretty next. <laughs> pretty next. What I wanna do is go back to the Great Marsh. Not to check and see if it's safe or anything, I can assume that because nobody ran screaming out of this building, either it was completely untouched by that bomb as I thought, or maybe just the southerners are really set in their ways. <laughs> I wanna check these binoculars and see what sort of encounters there are today, because I had some ideas for stuff that I might wanna catch. Not as team members, but just, in, just generally speaking. Yanma, love is just showing me Yanma over and over again. Ah, Carnivine, no. Normally I think Carnivine is hilarious and I love it, but it's not what I wanted to see. I was thinking about catching Tropius um, as an HM user to use alongside Durpidia, so that way I can use every HM move across two Pokemon, which would be great. The other thing that I was considering was perhaps catching a Krogunk. Not really to use on the team, but Krogunk has a 5% chance of holding Black Sludge. If, say, before a boss fight, I gave that to my Clefairy, um, I would be able to just never have to worry about inf being inflicted with a status condition. If I'm poisoned, the enemy can't paralyze me or burn me or anything like that, and I don't take damage from poison because Magic Guard, but I, I guess it'll just kind of have to wait a little longer. I forgot that I even planted any berries out here. I think I'll grab these really quick and then replace them with some new ones. Dear, all happy. I love that line so much. I don't know why, it's just kind of random. 
Uh, I want to go this way, and none of the trainers on this route are required, but there are a lot of trainers of interest. I will be skipping anyone that appears to be required on this route, because like I said, you don't have to come here for anything, but of course I wanted to say- Oh. Uh, I didn't realize you were a trainer at all, buddy. Uh, you might have something interesting. No, you don't. That was a complete dud of a trainer battle. Then again, if all I had on my team were a couple of Magnemites, I don't think I'd exactly be quick to lock eyes with trainers that run past me anyway. Um, on this route, you are able to find some stuff. I've kind of been over this before. If there were things you wanted to catch in the Great Marsh, you might be able to find it here. Parasol Lady Sabrina has Whooper on her team, so she is technically a trainer of interest, even though if you ever went into the Great Marsh, you would have no chances of ever seeing this. Or ever, ever seeing, ever not seeing this, I mean. Thank you. Also, I doubt I needed that quick claw whatsoever. Let's finish you off. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad that we're getting to use Bodhi a little bit more. I could take advantage of this rain, perhaps go and buy a Thunder TM and teach that to Clefairy, but uh, I'm not really sure I want to do that. On that note, uh, Super Never Go to Level 39, <laughs> wasn't really meaning for that to tie in, but what I was going to say is that something that's been brought up is uh, Clefairy being able to learn gravity. I've thought about this. Something about gravity is that in addition to making foes weak to, uh, that are levitating or flying weak to, um, susceptible to ground, they're not weak to it. In addition to that, it lowers enemy evasion by two stages. It doesn't just cancel out double team, it outright effectively makes the moves that are coming out of everything more accurate on everything on the field. This is interesting because it makes fire blast and even thunder 100% accurate. <laughs> Please have something I need to fight you for, otherwise I'm going to be really upset. Alexa! You have a Goldeen on your team! Awesome! Okay, as I was saying, gravity is a good option for Clefairy. Especially in double battles, it can be really, really nice to lower the evasion two stages of both of your opponents at the same time. It's one debuff that is actually kind of worth it, even though more often than not, it's more worth it to buff your own Pokemon. Some people have brought this up to me, and it is a good idea, but I think I'm gonna stick with Thunderbolt Fire Blast without using that, just for the time being to see what it's like. That's what I wanted to say. You also have Babarel on your team, so your entire team are Pokemon of interest. That makes you a really good 100% trainer of interest. I do not need to worry about Babarel whatsoever. I have dealt with these guys before, I have one myself. It is my noble steed. Thank you very much for going down. And now if you will excuse me, I am going to try to get a second attempt at that item I so stupidly biked past. Like rain my tears flow from losing, they call me the rain woman. That is depressing, wow. You can't ride your bike into the bog, so I will have to walk like some lowly peasant. Back over by the bike wood. That sounds very awkward now that I say it out loud, but I couldn't think of anything else to call it. There's an item, TM06 Toxic. Everything can learn this. Darn near everything. If it can learn TMs, odds are it can learn it. Also, there is a revive up here that I somehow didn't see on my first go around. That TM though, badly poisoned, getting worse each turn that it's in effect. It is a fantastic TM. Definitely teach that to selling on your team if you're not giving yourself some kind of stipulation with TMs like I am. Now let's also see what this was, a Zinc. Suddenly, I don't feel so bitter anymore. I got a Toxic TM, which I'm probably not gonna use, but I still got a Revive and a Zinc. That sounds really nice. Also, I like how this is probably the first time that I went to the correct pocket for the first time uh, when trying to use a medicine on my Pokemon. Special Defense. I've been giving a lot of these to Supernova. Let's go Bodhi. I think that'd be nice. Bodhi's more of a physical tank, but nonetheless, we can cover our weaknesses. This over here, this house, Shards wanted, Pokemon moves taught. We are finally going to see the use for these shards. If you share your shards with me, I can teach your Pokemon some moves. Yeah, we'd like to do that. Let's see what everyone is capable of learning. Let's see what Supernova get. Icy Wind, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch. Wow, Supernova. Oh boy, this is, wow. Icy Wind is good in doubles, that will lower your opponent's speed, both opponents in double battles. It's a pretty weak move in terms of damage, and since most of the fights we're going to be doing are singles, I don't think it's worth it. Of course, everyone knows the punches, they've been made physical in Gen 4. Zen Headbutt might be interesting, I'll go back to that. 
Trick is an item switching move. Knockoff gets rid of your opponent's hold item. Thinking about it, Zen Headbutt is the most attractive of these moves. But 90 accuracy for 80 power. I am aware that I could get rid of Metronome and just go for more type coverage, but Metronome is just so much fun and we've only used it like once. It would be a crime to get rid of it at this point. And besides, I just don't think I get that big of a return out of it to justify even using it, so we're not gonna learn that here. Let's see what else we can learn. I'm gonna be here a while. Acrobat can get Ominous Wind, and while it might be nice to get all stats up occasionally, Offensively, Ghost is so similar to Dark, and Bite is physical, I think I'd rather stick with Bite. Scythe had all the elemental punches, as well as a few others, but the one that I found most interesting was Vacuum Wave. This is fighting type, and it always moves first. I'm definitely going to replace this move with something else later, but I thought it might be nice to overwrite Psychic with that. I was thinking that Psychic would be nice to have as a mixed attacking move, just in case I fight something that has really high defense. But Gallade's special attack is nothing special. I thought it was closer to like 85, but it's actually 65. Even though Vacuum Wave is special as well, I just figure it'd be nice to have in those situations where I just barely don't finish something off. All these fishermen right here, none of you have anything I want, but I think you have something I want. I know this read a lot better than I thought it did. I am proud of my Pokemon. Here, I will show you why. I'm willing to bet that you are a collector. And I bet your name is Brady. Oh no, it's... We already fought Brady, but point is, you have an Umbreon, and I want to fight that, so I was right. Ha! I don't know your name, but I know your team. That's just how much you sit on the sidelines let your Pokemon do all the fighting. Like I do. I'm just losing. I need to shut up. So Umbreon, using Sand Attack right there. Um, if you have never seen Umbreon in gold or crystal, use Sand Attack or Mud Slap. Um... Treat yourself to that, it is probably the grossest sight you will ever see. <laughs> Just do Earthquake again. Umbreon's really bulky. Definitely don't underestimate it. So we'll knock that out. I'm certain I'll get a level up out of that. And if I'm not mistaken, your second Pokemon, I'm just really getting ahead of myself a lot here in this battle. Yeah, yeah, rain continues to fall, come on. Just let us get on, yes, Espeon. This is our first time seeing Espeon, technically, but you don't need to see it here. So if you are raising an Umbreon in your team and don't need to do this fight, well, you, well, really don't need to do this fight. <laughs> Just kind of mentioning that up front in case you were really wanting to be efficient with your Pokedex. Maybe you're planning a speed run for Platinum and you're doing a category where you have to complete your Platinum Sinnoh decks and you just want to use an Umbreon in your team for something because it's a good tactic. I'm being very technical at this point. I highly doubt Umbreon is winning any sort of speedrun. Just saying. Youch! Sure showed me how tough you were. You were rich, wow. I'm sure you're like an amiibo collector or something on the side if your title is collector and you have that kind of money. Well, no, actually, if he didn't have money, that would make an amiibo collector. Never mind. TM62 Silverwind. Same as Ominous Wind, same as Ancient Power, just special and bug type. I always get a little bit lost on where to go right around here. Yeah, I know the teams of the people around here really well, but I don't know the route itself. I also seem to not know that I don't have a rappel up any longer. Shellos! Wow, I've been waiting to talk about this until I encountered one for myself. If you are on the east side of Mount Coronet, Shellos will have a completely different appearance. It does not do anything in the way of stats, so it really doesn't matter. It boils down to which one you like better. Me personally, I'm east side, you. <laughs> You would not believe the number of people I have had to let down softly in my life when it came to shell loss. So many of my friends, when Diamond Pearl were new, they would IM me and just be like, Oh my god, I found a shiny shell loss! Or they would like, if they were in person, they'd be like running up to me, I found a shiny shell loss! I can't believe it! I'm so lucky! Like, it's so good! And shell loss is actually a good Pokemon! Like, oh my god! And I had to be... Um, you didn't find a shiny shell loss, it's just that it has two different forms. I... I probably had to tell people that even more than I had to let them down easy with telling them that, hey, sorry, you um, raised the wrong gender of Combi, it's never going to evolve, you have a useless Pokemon that you wasted the entire game raising. It was heartbreaking whenever I had to say that to my friends, and I had to do it so often. <laughs> uh, the curses of being the one that your friends go to for help in Pokemon games, but... I'm just starting to sound kind of pompous when I say it like that. Point is, it was a really sad experience and one of my most vivid memories of Shellos in general. 
The scientist has Kadabra on his team. When I said that there were so many trainers of interest we wanted to fight around here, I was not whistling Dixie. He was apparently whistling Dixie when he used that X defend because it did him no good. Bodie, you can take that. Supernova is level f Wow. Light, <sighs> Light screen. Come on, really? Uh, you know, I, that's a good move, but... I was kind of thinking that I, it sounded like a good idea at the time to give it that experience share and just go until it gets that last level up move that I really want. But I feel like it's getting too overpowered. We're gonna remove the experience share off of it and just let it be level 40 for a while. It's not really hurting to stay with, up with the rest of our teams. It's not fully evolved like the rest of the team is, but I think level 40 is more than good enough for a while, even as a not fully evolved Pokemon. Get a blue shard right there. Funny, considering that that's the exact color of shard that that move tutor back there wanted, so if you just barely can't afford something, you might want to go here. This double battle! Protect the natural environment, that's what re-rangers do. Re-rangers, I sound like Scooby-Doo. Hey, you trainer, are you being good to mother nature? What if I'm not? What are you gonna do? Draw circles around me, Pokemon Ranger? I'm so stupid, wow. This team uh, has a Monferno. I'm being very technical when I say this is a trainer of interest, because the only way you wouldn't have seen Monferno is if you started off with uh, Chimchar and then proceeded to not evolve it. I know, it's very technical, but hey. You know, I was just saying Metronome. Let's do it. Let's try it. Scythe has got this locked down. That Monferno is not going to be able to do all that much good with me being this fast and it being in the rain. It's not going to do any fire type moves. Take that down. And Supernova, even though you could have totally knocked that Meryl out in one hit with Thunderbolt, let's see what my stupid move does. Rock Slide. When having gravity can make your um, metronome better. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Uh, am I just, oh, fighting just two on one now. Uh, Leaf Blade it is, and metronome it is, let's go. Uh, Gallade is so fun, just going first all the time and having that much type coverage, and heck, even when you aren't going first, now I got vacuum wave, I love it. It's just, it makes such quick work of anything, and for a video, that's great. I need a buffing move here. Seed Bomb, no target. It would have been funny if it were Explosion, I just knocked out Supernova inside. <laughs> Leafeon, that is another Pokemon we need to see. So this battle is actually a little bit important. I was making it sound like it wasn't, but we do have a Leafeon right here. Again, I could do Fire Blast, but I'm just gonna be stupid and go for Metrodome, because it's fun. Let's see if I can do half of your damage. Ooh, Razor Leaf. That's... I'm not really worried. But still, I wasn't really expecting you to have that. You did not do... That's your... That is Leafeon's strongest attacking move until like level 70, like I said, Perish Song. Makes it so that all Pokemon present will faint in three turns. Really sucks to be them, considering they're down to their last Pokemon and can't just switch out of it. Perish can't, it's really gonna make me sit through all of them when it's all the same, ugh. I missed the text formatting of sixth generation, it was so good. This'll probably knock out, but in case it doesn't, we might as well have the fun of seeing what Metronome will give us. We don't, oh well. And there we go. Gotta get tougher than this. Good. You seem to be a kind-hearted trainer. Yeah, I definitely was very kind-hearted to your Leafeon by singing Parish Song, something that would make it die if it didn't, well, not die, but still. What do you have? Trainer tips. Item in the bag and be organized by pressing select. Boy, do I ever know it. How would I ever get along without that? I kind of said that it seems stupid and pointless earlier, but as I've been doing it more, I can see why people recommend it, because it really does just scroll that slowly. Ugh. Put up another repel, go a little bit further to the north. And right here, we have reached the Pokemon Mansion. This is not the site of a horrific genetic experiment meant to create living weapons, but instead, a Pokemon Mansion! Imagine that! This is a very important location, and there is a lot for you to do here that you'll want to come here for. But I don't think we should tackle it now. It's gonna take us a while to get through here, and I feel like this is a good stopping point, because we've gotten to the end of Route 212. So next time on Pokemon Platinum, we go into the Pokemon Mansion and see just what is there for us. See you guys then.